Namaste, Ashe, beloved house, everyone doing today. I thought I would come here and share a little bit about these transitions and shifts that is going on with us when it comes to our male counterparts. I wanted to come here because I've had a couple of people reach out to me about this dysfunction, about these issues that we're having with our male counterparts. And I completely understand personally because I've had experiences with them myself. Now, I have a couple of clips here uh, where men are, you know, uh, Omar Johnson and other men are realizing that the psychology of men is very dysfunctional and degenerate. And they have simply be, been observing everything. I'm going to play a couple of those clips. And I want you to look at them because it's important that you we understand here. It is important that we understand that we are dealing with a, uh, a humanity crisis here. You know, we need to get, I think women, for us, we need to understand who we're dealing with because we didn't, uh, we didn't understand the psychology and behavior of men. We were just programmed to be a mate for them. We wasn't programmed to really understand them, you know. So now we're starting to stand back, observe and look at studies and statistics and seeing that we that man really does have a problem. And so I want you to keep an open mind here, ladies, because we need to really understand what we're dealing with. So we'll know how to proceed if we're going to uh, interact with them. OK, so look at these videos and understand what you are watching, beloved. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about it. OK. And I'm telling you, black men are responsible for her being masculine because we have not helped to raise them children. I, I am and not. when I say help them raise them children, I don't mean you as the stepdad. No, yeah, yeah, I, I, I mean you yeah, yeah. as an active member Definitely. in the community. She got masculine because she had to become masculine in order to deal with the rape, the abuse, the domestic violence, the, the disappointments that men had in her life, and also raising those kids and have to take care of herself all at the same time. The black woman has been the be all in all in our community for half of a century and now we want to turn around and say because she didn't do it perfectly enough or remain feminine enough when she had to absorb our responsibilities plus her own that's insensitive and disingenuous there is something wrong with men and women cannot solve the problem feminism has tried and failed because men have to find the psychological ability to look at their brains and ask themselves, why do I have this need to physically beat up a weaker woman? Why? Why do I feel that compulsion or right that I can act like this? Well, because... And it's a, men, it's, it's a men's question to themselves. It's nothing that women should be asking men. It's something men should be asking each other and themselves. In this need from men to attack women in this way, which indicates that actually the fundamental root of this is men are terrified by women. Men are profoundly inferior and profoundly aggressive, and that's biologically wired into their brain. And that's why they go around causing wars. That's why they go around destroying other nations, because men have something seriously unevolved and unadapted inside their brain structure. How did it get there? It's a biological need, but with for some reason, and I really can't explain it, the male species is unlike any other on the planet. There is no other animal that acts towards its own kind, and kinship is a key thing in biology, okay? There is no other animal on the planet that acts to its own kind the way the male brain acts towards its own kind. What the male brain does is seriously mentally disordered. And if you don't understand it as a mental illness and keep just trying to find laws and, and talk about culture. The reason why this planet is in the shape that it's in right now is because 98% of the people that run these corporations and these militaries are men. That's the biggest problem we have. We don't have any more balance. 
we don't have any more balance on this planet. We have no feminine energy being injected in the level that it needs to be to balance out the masculine energy. So this planet is being run like a giant bachelor pad. That's exactly what's going on. You're witnessing it every single day. You're witnessing it every single day. Men in $10,000 suits sending broke, poor children halfway around the world in military gear to kill other people that are also broke and poor. And they do it because they got the orders. And then they thank God for America and all this other kind of crazy stuff. You see the brainwashing and... Okay, beloved, so you saw uh, Irma Johnson talking to the young men. Did you see the look on their face? You know, did you see the look on their face? Because see, that that's the, that they don't, when you touch in those uh, areas right there, uh, that's something they do not want to let go. Like I said, patriarchy functions just like uh, racism, white supremacy. You know, they will gaslight you on it. Uh, how dare you? are the only one who have a problem uh, with it. It's working just fine for them. You know, women, you have a problem. Something is wrong with you. The same way racism, white supremacy work for white people. We're the one that got the problem. It's working just fine for them. You're the only one who got a problem. The gaslighting becomes, and that's why a lot of us women feel crazy in relationships with some of these men. We're like, now, I know I'm not crazy. This, this is not right, you know. No, you are not crazy. You know, that is the patriarch programming and structure that's set up there. And then you hear uh, the psychologist, you know, this, this man here, he is a man. And so he has observed and did his research and he had his, his experiences as a man. He's telling you that men have some, a dis, de degenerate dysfunction, a mental problem, a psychological problem. And it's a very important for us women to understand that and stop fantasizing and romanticizing these fantasies that they have given to us, these programs. Because what happens is these men, we get in, they, we get in these relationships because it's nothing uh, less than what you call, unquote, quote, the Jezebel spirit. Um, we get in these relationships with these men and, and they, they wear these masks that they show to the public. But behind closed doors, they are parasitic and they can be emotionally, physically, mentally abusive to us. And we are a resource to them because they can't, it hurts them to live alone because of this parasitic behavior. And again, we're looking at dark psychology. We're looking at, you know, uh, this dark triad psychology that's within the patriarch system, not even just not just politically, but uh, spiritually as well in their Abrahamic Abrahamic religions. When we look at that, you know, you're looking at too. Go back to that Bible, that Jezebel spirit. We're this, we we wrestle, wrestle not with flesh and blood, but the spirit as well. And for women, it's important for us to understand the psychology, the thinking of men, uh, and to understand we are in a generational crisis here. This is the this is the trauma, and man was created. He was created to be an asset to the planet to help protect the planet. Not to cause chaos on it. And right now, he is causing chaos on it. And, and in order to, you know, he is going to have to reprogram his whole thinking. I don't recommend getting into relationships with them if they're not going willing to go to counseling. If they're not willing to deconstruct. Uh, and a lot of them will pretend until they get a soul tie with you. And then before you know it, you have this spirit unleashed in your life and in your home and it and now you got this generational trauma that you have to deal with and we have many of children young boys who this programming is being transferred to this sort of programming and uh disrespect to the feminine energy and divine feminine fe energy we have a multitude of young boys who are going to go out and, and be images of the men that we see today. And that's not, we again, it's going to take a while for 
to correct this generational trauma. It's going to take a while. It, it, may, it may take three or four generations. But for women, you know, we need to understand what we're dealing with, hold them to a higher standard, and especially for the women of color in our community, no going 50-50 with these men anymore. Hold them to a higher standard. Hold them to a higher standard, making sure that they understand the divine feminine and they understand the the incorrect programming they have received in the patriarch system and structure. Making sure that they are deconstructing that as well. Now you can do like Shira Seven. Uh, Shira Seven, she has a relationship with the man. I don't know he, if he's deconstruct, but she, she, you know, she sure has her way of navigating that relationship. And it does, some of it is a lot of manipulation and deceiving, you know, and, and that's what patriarchy is all about. It's a lot of manipulation and deceiving. And in order to navigate a relationship with them, you're going to have to become like them, which is the, you know, the manipulation and the deceiving part of it. You're really going to have to work uh, on that reverse psychology if you're going to have a relationship with a man who has not de deconstructed uh, patriarchy. These are things that, you know, we need to definitely look at. But I, I can't recommend, uh, you know, I can't recommend this system to my daughters. And I'm, I've certainly talked to them about some of these these topics, some of these issues that we have right now. Because if you go on the dating site, it's like the same per uh, the a different man, but the same person going on there. They all have this same stuff, and I'm sure us women, if we all get together, we can talk about our experiences, and most of them will be familiar and similar to each other. Yes, they will be familiar and similar to each other. I've had people, women, reach out to me and explain. Or share their experience with me. And I certainly understand. You guys know I have ex explained my experience to you. And I've come here and shared some information about you before uh, this shifting even happened. You know, it's going to happen. It has to change because now you have this, this uh, dark psychology, this toxic masculine energy on the planet and it is wreaking all types of havoc on humanity, especially women and children. We are suffering behind it. So I say do your uh, deconstructing. Be careful. And with this process, too, it's going to be very helpful, women, is to you know learn self-defense classes, uh, carry you some pepper spray on you. Because studies show when we start detaching from these men that they kind of go crazy. And uh, rape, S.A., let me say S.A., and unaliving women statistically increases. Which they, they are unaliving us at, at a uh, rapid rate anyway, especially women of color. So making sure you be for you be careful that you are taking precautions and that you understand what and who you are dealing with. Do not as underestimate these men. I know my grandmother has had, uh, you know, I look at the experiences that my mother had with these men, with my biological father, with my stepfather. I look at my grandmother's relationship with my grandfather and my stepfather, uh, step grandfather. And, you know, it's so easy for men to move on. They have to have a resource. This is one reason why they cheat. This is one reason why they, they are already secure another woman before they end a relationship because they can't be alone. This is one reason why they do. They are parasitic in nature. They are parasitic in nature. This is one reason why this is why they cheat. This is why it's easy for them to go on to the next relationship and without doing any reflection, without doing any healing, without doing any introspection. They'll go on because they are parasitic. They have to feed off someone mentally and spiritually. They are totally right now working out of their ego. 
There is no divine feminine uh, in, in, in a lot of them. Now, there are some out there that are doing their work and they are deconstructing and they are speaking out about it. There's some, but not enough for us to, especially me, to trust my daughter to marry, you know. I, I can't do it, you know, I, I, and I, I just and I want to educate my daughters. And that's one reason why I'm doing this, too. I want to educate my daughters enough for them to make an informed decision because I didn't have enough information to make an informed decision. So now we need to, uh, it's a good idea to pass this on to the, the younger generation. Ladies, listen to this information before you get yourself pulled in uh, to a, in a relationship with some of these men. And some of you are already making great choices when it comes to relationship. And for those of you that comes from trauma, comes from dysfunctional uh, dysfunctional families, we are more likely to get in these traumatic uh, relationships. So you really need to pay attention to what's going on here. Women that experience uh, that comes from dysfunctional family or trauma, we are more likely to get in these relationships with these dysfunctional men. Men, so it is very important for you to pay attention to the information that's being shared here, and it's very important for you to do the generational healing. Uh, before you even get into a relationship. Because if you're not careful, you'll be repeating some patterns here. So stay informed. Stay educated. Before you get into these relationships with these men. And work on your own trauma. The most important thing we can do for ourselves is love ourselves Fiercely right now. Set the standards. Because men, they're, the only way we have been talking feminism uh, was the, the door for conversation of change. Men have not listened. The Me Too movement was the conversation for change. You know, we literally having to take these men to court, uh, orchestrate them, shame them, embarrass them in order for them to wake up. And then some of them don't even wake up then because this, this behavior has been normalized. S.A. Unaliving women. We've been treated like servants and slaves. And men has never been in the capacity to lead. Like Queen Priscilla said, they were made to serve, provide, and enforce laws. That's it. They were never meant to lead. Okay? They were meant to provide, protect, and serve. Never to lead like that and enforce laws. That's it. That's it. They were never meant to lead anything. It is uh, them leading because, again, we're talking about an inferior uh, species. He, he's inferior. He is, he's a mutated um, woman. That's what he is. He is not complete and whole. Okay, he's an XY, he has an XY chromosome. His chromosome, he has a chromosome that's degenerate. Okay, so, uh, it mo and, and, you know, it makes sense for him to operate in the capacity that he's operating in because he doesn't have the proper guidance and knowledge of self. He doesn't understand that. Okay, and it's for us to put it back in place by cutting off our resources so he can have some introspection. So there's no more talking really uh, for them. It needs, it needs to be detachment needs to happen and we need to focus on self. You know, and there, like I said, there's some men that's doing the work, they're doing the deconstructing, they're doing the healing, but it's a lot of them that's not doing it. I mean, they're just like stuck in this programming. And the only way to get them out is actions speak louder than words. And, so, and most time, like I told you, uh, when I was in this domestic violence class, men had to go to more domestic violence classes than women did because it's hard for them to understand things. They, have to, they even had to have mimic funerals for them to see that hitting a woman could cause death. I mean, this is, de this is this how degenerate they are in their thinking. Okay, and this women is, is hard. And I, I don't care how much they sit up here pretend <laughs> and how much money they got. You know, look at Donald Trump. You know, I don't care how smart they is. They are a degenerate species. 
And we have to understand that and not, not go for the hype and the fantasy and the programming that was given to us. Okay, ladies. So I hope these, you know, I hope this information has been enlightening to you and it has, you know, helped you do some deconstructing and gave you some ideas on how you want to move forward with, with interacting with them and in your healing journey. Okay. Uh, light, love, namaste. I say love one.